my thing got changed up even more. Okay! But speaking of the change-up, Zelda changing into the Sheik for this pseudo-ditto. Right? Yeah, they, they were... It was a ditto a long time ago, but not anymore. So um, right now, off the bat, you see Ligus going for a lot of, like, these up tilts, kind of read either an anti-air for the forward air or a roll read. Yeah, um, at low percent, it's going to be a little easier for Ligus to get out of these combos with things like Nair and um, Neutral Beat. However, um, as percent's going to... Uh, you know, go up a little bit. You see Exile already being aware of that neutral B, having pretty good frame data um, to break out of combos. But as we see, as we get to these mid percents, it's going to be a lot harder for Zelda to get out of Sheik's uh, advantage state. Especially in the, the aspect of that frame data you said, because Zelda doesn't really have much tools to combat. Like, Sheik just going up and just pressing buttons on you, especially if you're spacing away from, like, her main neutral tools, like jab. Exactly. Like, right there. Like, see? spot dodging that jab perfectly. Ooh, that, that was... Pretty dangerous right there. Lag is going for some aggressive plays right now. I, I definitely do respect that though, because once you get to a certain percent with Sheik, if she can't kill you, it might as well you get that first stock. It could be risky though, because um, Exile, or Sheik rather, is such a great character at ledge trapping, but Exile doesn't want to ledge trap particularly. He's more of a ledge guard kind of character. Real, and okay. Zelda, super, pretty hard to ledge guard, I would say. That was a really good B reverse yeah. uh, bouncy fish right there. For sure. And with him getting the first stock, it's going to dictate a lot of the match. You know Sheik as a character is at, like controls the neutral absolutely well. And we're going to see him already getting 22%. Not too, too much. Uh, Ligus, again, going for some really crazy plays. I definitely do agree with it, though. Um, it's not anything that is um, he's getting punished too bad for. Mm -hmm. I can say that much. Reading Ooh. that air dog, but not getting the second one. That was that definitely was, uh, acting all up. Yeah. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna live for that one. I've seen grenade miss inputs, but vanish miss inputs, that's a that's a new level. Yeah, and, and just as I was saying, you know, he takes the first stock and we already have 73 damage on Zelda. That went absolutely nowhere. This character is not good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Ooh, trying to use that down tilt to stuff out uh the approach. Had it worked, he would have gone up air to secure the stock, I believe. And right there you're seeing the kind of misfortune of the Nairo's love because if it whips or if you shield it you just get a free amount of like pun opportunity to punish her for it so uh, was, i'm sorry continue oh no i was just saying as i'll uh, continue doing that uh, i wanted to talk about ligus's ledge trap there he put um the the knight out in front of him and he down smashed it to have the extended hitbox it didn't work out but we can see that this person uh this player definitely knows how to play this um mm -hmm. character this matchup just seems very difficult that was a really good angle the knight seems interesting too because it will have a little bit of pushback not too much but like it makes it so that see that that grab right there isn't gonna connect because it just pushes you a little bit so placing that on the ledge could be really good to prevent somebody from like hitting you with a rising fair or something. Absolutely, and right now, this is a position where Ligus, obviously he's in the disadvantage, but he doesn't necessarily mind being in. Zelda's a pretty floaty character. I... But that, yeah, yeah, that bouncing fish. Even if um, Ligus did like air dodge through it or whatever, there's nothing like she can do. I think Zelda doesn't have any tools to deal with bouncing fish, whether you shield it, she can't do anything. If you air dodge past it, she can't do anything. The only thing is if she spot dodges, but Exile did a great job doing a spacing where had the bouncing fish, she spot dodged it, she would have gone straight off stage and she wouldn't have been punished for it. And right now, going to Battlefield, I definitely do agree with that. Um, she, it, okay, he grabbed the ledge out of that. That was, little, that was cute. That was cute, that was yeah. Cute. That was. <laughs> I definitely yeah, like Exile's uh, Sheik. Exile Sheik is super, I want to say unorthodox, but he's not afraid. Like, that, that, that's the yeah, thing I like that's about the, it. If I were to say one thing about his play in like one word, it would be like courageousness. Definitely. He is not, like, because like, with Sheik, you have to do those things. Mm -hmm. um, Void said once that if, you, if you're not going for the crazy stuff, you'll never be good. Like, sometimes you just have to. For sure. And you can see how well it's working for Exile, but Ligus is getting That was some a, momentum. first of all, that was a brilliant um, cross up by Exile, but even more brilliant by the fact that Ligus recognized it and just, like, just out of shield back air. Back air, yeah, that was super, super good. Um, oh. Exile is living on the edge right now. He is so, he has had too many opportunities to live. Um, yeah, Ligus got such a great lead and now he's he's making the most of it by getting trades. Well I think I think this is a, a situation where Ligus kinda counterpicked himself. He got like three or four kills and right there, beautiful diamond cutter up smash. Mm -hmm. Exile, that's his favorite move I'd say. That and bouncing fish. <laughs> oh my god, was it worth it? <laughs> 
Oh, oh, <laughs> Alright, that was good. That was good. Yeah, it was great recognition by Exile, knowing that he can't get the dash grab because of the knights in the way. But the needle thing isn't gonna go through either. But catching that uh shield yeah. being dropped <laughs> with yeah. the down smash. You know, I, I was just gonna talk about how Ligus seems to have a pretty good neutral with Zelda. This character is very hard to play neutral with, especially sure. if someone as impressive as Sheik. And um, I think the one issue that he was having last game is that he just couldn't get that kill. And now we're seeing a much more even game. Hopefully we can have this um, this counter pick help him survive, because right at 71%, it's going to be a Yeah, that's, long a, that's time a huge deficit. Said. Going for that, that Diamond Cutter up smash you were yeah. talking about. He, he loves really going for the air it. dodge reads as well. Uh, that was negative. Oh, there it is. Oh, I thought for sure. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of damage. It right is, there. but on the contrary, though, now it scales the move. So now he doesn't have to worry about it at, say, this percent. You're definitely not wrong. I think the one thing he needs to be worried about is getting grabbed. I noticed Lingus has not Uppy. gotten a single grab this set. Actually. Yeah, Ligus hasn't. Um, but he's playing a very good anti-grab game, uh, or anti -grab game yeah. exiled right now. He's not playing super like right there, he's, he was spacing his F tilt so that, like, what's Zelda going to grab you with if you're just far away? Great Zelda, though, is... That's Darn. it. That was great DI, but not enough to take that. Exile is going to take that 2-0. Hopefully we get to see more of him. Um, I definitely feel like he had a lot um, He had a lot of skill. I definitely haven't seen him before, but I would love to see more. I think he's... Go see, I've heard his name before. You have? Um... He need, I, I think um, rewatching the VOD, he needs to grab more. 